Whether you're switching power states or managing multiple abilities, I'm going to show you how to do it using enums. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start out with, we're in a 5.4 third person template project. We're going to go to our content drawer and we're going to go into the third person folder and into blueprints. Now, for this enum tutorial, we're going to have to start out by creating an enum. So we're going to right click and go to blueprints. Right under blueprints, we're going to select enumerations. We're going to name it capital N, I'm sorry, capital E underscore power choice. Or we could say power choices or power choice, it doesn't matter. And we're going to hit enter. We're going to do a control shift S to save. Now, double click on the uh, this particular one here, and we're going to put it up here. And right here, and so we don't keep doing this with the adding, we're just going to go ahead and quickly go to edit. And we're going to go to editor preferences. And then right here, we're going to change this from default to main window. So that way we can just have it pop up in tabs next to it. Close that, hit save. And then we're going to add some enumerations. We're going to add three. So one, two, three. We're going to add for the first one, default. For the next one, we're going to add fire form. Then for the last one, we're going to add water form. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. And we should be done with this part for now. We can just close this out. OK, so for the next step, we're going to go back to our content drawer. We're going to double click and open up our third person character. In the third person character, we're going to select our functions tab right here, and we're going to hit and create a function. For this function, we're going to call it power choice. Enter. You know, while I think about this, we're going to change that enum's name, and we're going to call it. So just highlight it, hit F2, and we're going to go ahead and call this Power Form. Okay? So that way we can just have a little slight differentiation there. Now, to start out with, we're going to need to grab the character's mesh, drag it onto to the uh, to this uh, event graph of the of the function and we're going to grab two things okay so we're going to drag off of here and we're going to do a set material connect that up then we're also going to grab and we're going to do a spawn emitter and we want the spawn emitter attached and we're going to hook this up And, you know, just to neaten this up, I'm going to bring this down right here. I'm going to double click here, create a reroute node, just to make it nice and neat. Now, for this here, we're going to need to do some settings. So we're going to have to attach point name. So we're going to attach it to the head. Okay. Make sure that it's all lowercase because this is actually how the skeletal bone name is. And then we want our emitter to, we want it to hit the head, but we want it to go about 20. Um, on the x-axis right here, okay? Then right here for location type, we're just going to do a, uh, let's see. We're going to do a snap to target world uh, scale right here, okay? All right, next from this point, we're going to need to promote this variable. So we're going to select this as a promote variable. And for this variable, we're just going to name it emitter type. Now, we need to go back over here, and we need to select our power choice. And we're going to add an output right here, OK? We're going to take the output, we're going to put it right here, 
And we're going to connect this. And then we're going to go ahead and drag off of here. And yes, like so. And actually, you know what? Let's change this. We're going to we're going to say this is the emitter ref. So we're going to do an F2. And that way it'll be the emitter reference, okay? And then we're going to make sure we change the outputs as well. We're going to just call this emitter ref and enter. And we don't need this other uh, Boolean variable. We can just delete that out. Now, for the material, we're going to set this right here. And it's going to create an input. So this would be our material type. And then we're going to need to grab the emitter. And we're going to drag it off here as well. And we're going to call this emitter. Let's see, emitter type. So let's go ahead and change that. And I just, all I did was I grabbed and dragged it because it was backwards. I just, you can grab and drag uh, different uh, inputs here and make them move around. So we're going to do a compile and a save. Okay, now that that's set, let's go ahead and head back to our event graph. Okay, so we need to use this event begin play again. So we're going to move this up here. We're going to hold down the S key and do a left click. That's going to give us a sequence node. And we're going to detach this from right here, move this up here, and connect this here. And this one down here. We're going to move this up just a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our power choice function right here, drag it onto the graph, okay? And what we want to do is we want to promote these variables here, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to promote this variable and just leave it at its default name. Same thing with this one. We're just going to promote this variable, and we can, we can actually delete that for now. We don't really need that now, but what we're going to do is we're going to set this up, we're going to move this over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Alt key and get the emitter type, and we're going to drag it out and set it right here, and set it in here, and hook up the emitter type to here. Now, for this emitter, we're going to, we need to have something. This is how we initialize. So what I'm going to use is, uh, it's called ambient dust. So this is a nice uh, emitter right here because you can barely see it, so that's why we're using it because you need to have something in order for the rest of our logic to work. And you, you'll see as we go through what, what's happening. Okay, now we're gonna go up above here a little bit. We're gonna do a right click. We're gonna type in middle mouse. And we wanna use this middle mouse button, okay? And what we're gonna do with this middle mouse button is we're gonna right click and we're gonna get um, we're going to type in is valid. And we want the is valid node, which is right here. We want the one with this uh, reverse, this question mark here. And we want to hook this up. Now, we want to take the emitter ref and we want to connect that up as well. And then we're going to drag off of here and we're going to type in destroy component. We're going to make sure we put that on the valid side. Now, we want to grab our, let's see, we want to grab our function again, our power choice, and we want to hook this up. Then we want to go ahead and take our variables and hook up emitter type to emitter type, material type to material type. And then we're going to go in, hit compile and save. Hey, real quick, sorry about the interruption. I just wanted to show you basically, uh, we've just finished the major part of this uh, tutorial. But now the next part is where we're going to actually set the different meshes and emitters. And it's going to look a little something like this. 
If you're enjoying the content, subscribe. If you like the content, then like the content. Okay, back to the video. Now, for this next part here, we're going to need to set... The way it works is, okay, so this middle mouse button is what will activate the power only if it's valid, okay? And it'll, you know, just it'll destroy the component, the emitter as it goes, because we're using emitters that are they're constantly emitting. So in order for them to stop emitting, we're going to have to destroy the component, but we're going to make sure we have an emitter there in order for it to work. That's what's going on here. Now, if we move on, now we need to actually set up the logic to set the emitters. So here's how we're going to do that. We're going to right click right here well actually first we're going to need to create a variable okay we're going to add one variable and we're going to call this power form and what we want to do is we want to go and we want to select our let's see i think it's form yeah we want to select e power form which is our enum that we created earlier and now that we have that, we want to do a compile and a save. Now, right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do a one key. Right click again, do a two key. Right click again, three key. And then I'm just going to line these up. Now, we're going to need to grab this power form by holding on the Alt key and dragging with the left. That's going to give us the, the set. Just keep holding down the Alt and then just keep dragging and dropping these different ones out here. Okay. Now, for the first one, we're going to set this at default. The next one... We're going to set this to the fire mode, fire form. And then finally, we're going to do the water form, OK? Now, right here, we're going to have to drag off of here. Well, actually, let's go ahead and grab our, we're going to hold down control, do a left click, and drag and drop. And we're going to grab our power forms get. We're going to drag off of here, and we're going to type in the word switch which is going to give us a switch so we can change to our different modes, OK? We're going to drag this in a little bit. And we can connect all of these up right here. OK, now we want to we want to do another set. So we want to do we want to set the material type. So hold down your Alt key and left click and drag and set up the Alt right here. And then we also want to set up our emitter. We're still holding down the Alt and doing that as well. And we can connect these two together right here. And we can connect this to the default, which is OK. And then we want to do a print string just to, so we can know what form we're in, OK? So we're just going to do print string and for the print string i'm going to have it uh, spawn for maybe like 10 seconds and then i want to change the color to white actually i'm going to do five seconds and that should be good and we can minimize that and that's it now, while we're here, we need to populate these other ones. So before I even set these materials and, and emitters up, I'm just going to uh, highlight this and then do a Control D right here. And we're going to set this right here. And then do Control D one more time. And we're going to set this one right, right about here as well. So and then we can just hook these all up. Now. For the default material, uh, what we're going to need to do is, let's see, because we're only going to change the arm. OK, so we're only going to change the arm. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the skeletal mesh. Well, first, compile and save. 
And then what we want to do is we want to select this mesh right here. And since we're doing using the default material, we're going to use this material right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this browse button, we're going to go to that, and then we're going to populate the material right here. Okay, now for the fire form, we're going to select a different one. We're gonna, it's called laser material, okay? Laser pointer material, and I'm using this pointer material instance. You can use either one, but I'm just going to use the instance. So that's going to be the material for that. And then for the admitter, we're going to use the P fire. So let me see where it's at. Yeah, P fire, which is right here. Now, for this one right here, this one for our water form, we're going to use a slightly different color. We're going to use, let's see, it's called V Vertex. Let me see here. Let's see, vertex color view. Okay, so it should be, I believe it's this one right here we're going to use, okay? And then for the emitter type, we're going to use the sparks. And then we're going to use a compile and save. Now, for up here, we're just going to go ahead and say default form. This one is fire form. And then finally, we have our water form. Also, you might want to add a space just to make it look a little better. And then we're going to do a compile and a save. Oh, uh, before I forget, let's make sure we add the dust, the ambient dust right here, because you need something here in order for it to work, OK? Go ahead and straighten that out a bit. Compile, save. Okay, and that should cover our our logic for that. So let's go ahead and test it out. Go to third person, hit the play button. Now remember, if you hit the one key, then that's just going to give your default form. And if you hit that, basically nothing's going to happen. Two, you're going to do the fire form, and then you're going to hit the middle one. And then you'll notice that you'll have the fire form, okay? Then three will be the water form. And now we've switched from three different enums. Now, if we hit the one key again and hit the middle mouse button, it sets everything back to default. So basically, in essence, an enum is just another form of a branch that gives you more options. A branch only gives you true and false, where an enum can give you two, three, more, or even 10, whatever you want by using a simple enum switch. Now. Uh, check out this next video that's going to follow along with this one. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.